Okay guys, so um, like I promised, here's the follow-up kind of to the Lee uh, Auto Breach Lock Pro. And so far, uh, I really like it. It's now that I've fine-tuned my dies just where I want them, and that's going to be, you know, different for everyone. But once the dies are fine-tuned, it's really great. I mean, I'm getting consistent uh, results all across the board. It's really beautiful, easy-to-use system once you develop muscle memory and stuff. So I'm just going to load a few rounds and kind of discuss what I like about it and what I, you know, could see a little bit of improvement on. So, this is just how you use it. Put a case up here, get the primer as you saw, and I also seated a bullet. So, put a bullet on, maybe. Bring it up, that seats the bullet. Put a safety prime on there, drop a case. And we're ready to go again. And now we put another bullet down. Bring it up. So this stroke, we're dropping our powder, we're putting the primer in, and we're putting a case in. And we're also seating our bullet. As I come down, we drop a bullet, we push this case into place, and we're also pushing a primer into this bullet that's now at the powder charging station. And now with this all the way down, we put a bullet on top of our case that has the powder charge. And we bring it back up. And we keep doing this, essentially. It's slow, um, Lee makes things that makes this process a little faster. They have a uh, auto dispenser for the cases and the bullets. Um, I didn't think I needed to really spend the money on that. You know, I'd like to have a little bit of control over what I'm doing. Especially because occasionally to measure a charge, just to verify what I'm, uh, dumping, I will uh, just run one case so I can get the uh, an accurate charge out of it and whatnot. So sometimes I just run singular cases, but really it just comes down to paying attention. The system's great. As you can see, it works pretty fluidly and flawlessly. It's just you gotta remember what you're doing at any given time. I did have a few where, you know, I forgot to drop a powder charge or something. And I had to pull the bullets to redo them, but definitely it's a good system. For the most part, everything works. My only real complaints, I guess, I've had is uh, with the safety prime unit. I've had instances where uh, it doesn't seat a primer properly and it drops on the ground and I gotta go looking for it. Thankfully, I've never actually lost the primer from it yet, but the safety prime's a little concern and sometimes it doesn't feed. You gotta shake it around to feed it a little. Um, another issue I have with the safety prime is the fact you gotta press this primer at all. I think uh, Dylan and other people make a better system where you load it up into a tube and then the tube kind of takes care of doing it instead of having to bring this to it every time. It's kind of a little more automation. So I kind of like that feature on the Dylans and whatnot, but this works. Like I said, just a little slower, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. But pretty much this is all there is to reloading once you're set up. And like I said, I'm very happy. I'm gonna be firing off uh, my first couple rounds here tomorrow. And um, hopefully they'll fire perfect. But if not, the view is reloading. You can always come back and readjust your formula. So a few things I've done to kind of make my reloading process a little easier is um, on these bins they don't come with uh, anything on the front so it kind of reduces the capacity of how much you can uh, load in there so I actually 3d printed a little cover I found online to cover that and then I also uh, found a primer holder for all my primer boxes kind of a dispenser and that's nice because I can just whenever I need a new box primer to go and grab that but other than that, that's all I've really done to this setup. Um, this bench is plenty stable enough for this setup, so I'm pretty happy with it. So, all in all, guys, that's kind of all there is reloading. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, mini series that I did with you guys, and I uh, hope you found it as informative as I found it fun. So, I'll catch you guys in the next video.
Sí, ya.